Good afternoon, good afternoon, Pisces. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see what your past life will want you to rediscover about yourself. I see last week that you know what shits you want to come your way. You know exactly where you want to travel. You know exactly what direction you want to go. And you know exactly the people you want to take with you. So let's see what your past life will want you or will love you to rediscover about yourself for August 24th to August 30th, 2018. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father. What does Pisces past life want them to rediscover about themselves? For August 24th to August 30th, 2018. What does Pisces past life want them to rediscover? Oh, that one wanted to come out. Okay. What actions? Will Pisces take for August 24th to August 30th, 2018? What actions will Pisces be taking for August 30th or well, August 24th to August 30th? What action? Okay, so Mr. and Ms. Pisces, your past life wants you to rediscover that you have lessons and blessings in your vows. Wow, okay, when we see lessons and blessings, right? When we see lessons and blessings, the first thing we think about are the trials or the era or the circumstances that causes us to had to learn something but to see it as a lesson and a blessing. It is no different than how we look at vows. When we look at vows, we look at who we are as a person and the lessons we had to learn to make us stronger as individual. Mr. and Ms. Pisces, I feel for August 24th to August 30th, the vows you took connects you with your lessons and blessings. Every lessons you have learned was a vow you have taken. So say for instance, your vow was of Not chastity. Well, one vow could be of chastity, right? The lessons in this life would have had you have relationships that challenge your chastity to allow you to make a free will choice and still deciding to keep your chastity in your lessons. So say, for instance, you found a boy, a beautiful man or a beautiful woman that matches everything that you always wanted but now when it comes time to become intimate you remind yourself that you have taken a vow what is the blessing in that the blessing is that your partner will see that you have obedience your partner will see that you have self-respect your partner will see that you will have self preservation or preservation preservation of you can withhold your sacred chakra energy for the right one to give it to so it also makes you very sacred as a human being so at times as a human you might say oh chastity as a vow sucks because that means i have to say no when it's time to intimacy i might have to um find ways to distract the person from being intimate as much as that can become a hassle, right? At the same time, that becomes a blessing because one, 
is mainly a reason why you took that vow of chastity. That this is for one example is the reason why you took that vow of chastity. Maybe you know within yourself before you probably wanted to give yourself away. Not easily, because no one gives themselves away easily, but you, I, let me give it to myself. For myself, if I had to give a vow of chastity, it would probably be because my past partners that I had before, I didn't give them a chance to earn that right to be intimate with me. Meaning, did, did we spend time talking about each other's dreams? Did I find out about their family tree? Did they find out about my family tree? Did they find like how I deal with conflicts do they find out if i'm very spiritual or not are we religiously are we religiously compatible compatible and not compatible um do we share the same interests and the ones that we don't do we have respect for each other when we have differences what foods you like what colors you like all these things I did not want to explore because of the fear of losing that partner. So I felt that a way to keep a partner was through intimacy of the body or intimacy of the heart. Like I, if I didn't give the body a part of my body, then I would give a parts of my heart to an individual without seeing how they earned it. So now in my waking life, the vows that I take of chastity would be one, right? Rather than see it as a curse, I see it as a blessing because it will allow me to have men in my life that respect my body, that respect my mind, that respect how I see intimacy and the way I would like to show it with the opposite sex. My blessings in that allowed me to sing the song of my soul of my body everyone makes vows mr miss pisces rediscover how your vows are lessons yes they were lessons because vows make you wonder and make you validate what you think should be of source and of sacred passage or sacred rites. The actions you will be taking. Ten of fire. Wow. Ten of fire for your lessons, right? And for your vows. King of earth. So let's see. Wow, Miss Pisces, you, you do have uh a lot of passion. You know exactly the amount of passion, fire, direction you would want to go in the vows that you did take. And I see that there's so many ways that we could look at vows that in history, vows were looked at as boring and um, dull, uh, not fruitful. But now we're starting to see that vows give us an understanding of our self level and our self discipline and self appreciation and self love for thyself. Ten is the ultimate level of completion. You found out through your lessons and through your vows everything that you needed to learn. And from that, you have you can utilize those lessons and blessings in your waking life. And know that your vows and that source is always with you. Too much work except help from others. I don't feel that with this one. I feel like you put all of your efforts in this one basket or this, this treasure chest, this gold mine, right? How to lift that low? Okay, I can see some of the coins are coming out. So, to rediscover, show parts of the fire. Like, ten of fire, show about five 
elements, five aspects of that passionate side of you that wants to come out, that connects you to your vows. Too much work and self-help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. That will become the vows and the lessons. So, you have the king of earth. Be grounded in your approach to how you want to rediscover your vows. What are the five vows that you made to yourself from the beginning of January to now? I feel you have been keeping them, but the reason why I'm asking for five and not ten is because that other five is for you, is for your confirmation, is for your spiritual side to harness it. What are the five things? Is it chastity? Um, respect, ego, courage. Oppression, what five vows did you make to yourself that you want to complete? Write them out, um, draw them out, meditate because it has to do with your earthly abundance. Those five vows that you made to yourself can become your life purpose, can become. Parts of your career path can become ways that you can regain the respect and love from others. The five vows that you made to yourself also will show you how divine you are, Mr. Miss Pisces. When you do that, you will become the king and queen of earth. You will be very generous. And that would explain that big old bucket of gold. You got that bucket of gold and you want to spread it around. You want to give it to some people. But think about it before you do it. Be practical now. Generous, professional, responsible, and practical. And you have the Midas touch. You know exactly how to use your tin of fire. You're going to go up to a 10, 100% or... You got from 10% to 60 or 10% to 50 because that other 50% is going to be for the vows. So you got from 10% to 50% in showing your passion, fire, creativity, and drive. When you do that, a successful time will come. Confidently accept opportunities you are offered. That would explain why it asks for accept help from others it didn't feel like you were that you need to accept help it feels that when you are given the opportunity that you have always been interested in take that moment to seize it to grab it when you do that the vows that you made and that you have stuck to and the lessons that you have learned will feel like you did a 180 in your life. I don't believe that you are the same person that you have stepped into um, since January. I don't feel that the same man, the same woman that you are right now is the same person that you were last month or last week. Mr. Miss Pisces, you have matured and grown so much that now it's time to spread your wings, but guide it in the way that you see fit. What are the five vows that you took for yourself? Bring that out and bring that out with as much passion and much desire and drive that you you feel is necessary. So until we meet again, I love you, Mr. and Miss Pisces. You are the lessons and the blessings. You are the sailors of the sea. You are that voyager for us to guide us on our journeys and to help us to appreciate the vows that others take in rediscovering themselves. I love you, and we will see you on the other side.